Papagloy just finished the first quarter of 2017. And joining me now here in the Fleet Support Center is Rolf Haben Jansen, the CEO of Hapagloid. How satisfied are you with the results? The results of the first quarter are a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, volume was strong. Um, there are some improvement in rate, but not as much as we would like. And bunker cost went actually up quite a lot. What impact had the latest developments in freight rates and bunker prices on the results? Well, you always see that uh, bunker cost goes, when bunker cost goes up, it takes a little bit of time before you see that reflected in the freight rates. So in the first quarter, we definitely see the effect of higher bunker cost, but not yet the full effect of the increase in freight rates, which we actually expect to see as from the second and especially the third and fourth quarter onwards. What kind of further development do you expect with regard to freight rates and bunker prices? Well, today the market is quite strong. I mean, volume is, uh, is developing well, and we believe that the freight rates will recover further, which is also not unlogical after they have been declining for such a long time. What main activities did you focus on in the last quarter, and what are the priorities for the next month? Well, of course, for us it was important in the first quarter to continue working on the project with, uh, with UASC. Yeah. That is now very close to completion. Uh, that also means that in Q2 and Q3 we will be very much focused on the integration, apart from, of course, uh, continuing to offer good service to our customers and negotiating the best possible rates also for the remainder of 17 and hopefully already all into 18 as well. What are your expectations for the rest of the year for the industry and for Hapag Lloyd? Well, as far as we can see it right now, the outlook is actually fairly positive. Yeah? Uh, supply and demand are getting closer and closer together. Uh, we see that the contracts that we close today uh, generally have better rates than what we have seen before. And I believe that we are well prepared for the integration. So from that perspective, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic when looking into the remainder of 2017. Thank you, Rolf Haben-Jansen, the CEO of Harper Lloyd, and thank you for watching.